in Tullamore, out towards Kilbegan, you'll see a sign for Ballinamona, and that's where I came from. Well, if you were to drive up through Ballinamona today, you'd swear you were driving into Beverly Hills. <laughs> you never saw the peel of it. But even back in the 40s, when I was young, before we all lost the run of ourselves and forgot where we came from, there was a nearest snobbery attached to living in Ballinamore. Up that Ballinamore Road, the same road now. But we didn't live up in the big shot area. We came from the Ballymun side of Ballinamore. <laughs> One man who did live there was a fellow by the name of Timmy Murphy. Now, Timmy was a little small runt of a lad. You could wash him in a saucepan. <laughs> And he lived with his mother up the Ballinamona Road in a small little thatched house with a, a thatched roof clapping in on top of them. And one half of it was galvanized. But Timmy was all right, he was a harmless little creator, but the other one was as big a snob as you could meet. But when Timmy was 50, he decided to get married. And of course, us women from Ballymun, Ballinamona wasn't good enough for him. He went off to Ballycumber for a wife. <laughs> <laughs> so to tell the truth, he did invite me up to meet, meet, meet the mother one time. And by God, did she give me short shift. <laughs> <laughs> Who, she says, Who do you think you are? Trying to get your foot in my door and you're not with a penny to your name. And not one, she says, of your seed breeding generation has enough ground between ye to fill a geranium pot. <laughs> <laughs> By the God, she says, you'll hop on a knot before you get your knickers over my clothes like that. <laughs> 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 I think that my ambitions are living up the Ballinamona Road. <laughs> but she was so snobby because she had nine acres of squitch grass. <laughs> She was a member of the landed gentry. <laughs> Timmy went off, not to book please, but down to Bally Humber. <laughs> and he met this, he met, got this one for a wife, a great big long rake of a one. <laughs> with a big wild bushy head, like a fur bush. <laughs> but she had her own turf bank, and four acres of rushes. <laughs> she was a member of the landed gentry. <coughs> and they got married in Boher. <laughs> and they went off to Kerry for their honeymoon. Kilmary, if you don't mind. He loses way in Kilcorm. And he headed off to Killarney after the breakfast, bread and breakfast was over. And in those days, at every second crossroads, there'd be a she bean. They all go down through the country. Now, you all are familiar with the pubs that no beer. But the she bean had loads of beer, just that they had no license to sell it. <laughs> but that didn't stop them. So Timmy stopped at every she bean and went in. The little woman didn't go in because women weren't seen dead in pubs simply as she had to stay in the car. And he was heading on toward Burris of Cain when a guard, he saw an old sleepy little said, <laughs> <laughs> so we went home the next day. And Father Dunho 
Dunhu was the priest of Ballinamona. And Father Dunhu was a nod little sort of man. That's no harm at all, Lord. And Father Dunhu went round to see him at the house. He heard about this big tall woman. He wanted to get a look at her. And he was kind of vexed because he wasn't invited to the wedding. So he went in and he shook hands with him. Well, Timmy, he said, you took your time about it, he said. But when you did get one, you got a fine big long one, he said. <laughs> fine tall one, she must have been there for Tim, he said, well, with the help of God, Father, she won't always be standing. <laughs> 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 and how right he was. Ten months to the day, she had triplets. <laughs> And I stood for one of them, he said, Peter Paddy and Colum Kill. <laughs> and the priest was delighted, Father Dunho was delighted. Poor old Timmy didn't know why he was going to feed the man because they wouldn't be able to get scooch grass. <laughs> <laughs> Ten months to the day again, she went from the wire again. 